Welcome to PianoBuyer.com. I'm Hugh Sung. I'm sitting in front of a beautiful Steingreber und Zerner piano. This is a concert grand version with some very unique features. Now, typically, in most traditional acoustic pianos, we have the sustain pedal on the right, a sostenuto pedal in the middle, and then a soft pedal, or an unicorda pedal, on the left. Now, this has um, the sustain pedal on the right, it has the unicorda on the left. Now, the way to, to make a piano softer, traditionally, is to either play lighter or to use the unicorda, the pedal on the far left. Now, what Steingreber has done is very interesting. They have come looked at more ways, instead of making pianos more powerful, they're exploring ways to make pianos more delicate. A huge instrument like this does produce a lot of sound, but they've been focusing on how to make it more delicate and more beautiful. And the ways they do this is with something unique called an, uh, a sordino pedal. Now, for those of you who play string instruments, you will know that sordino means mute. And whenever you see con sordino in the music, they, for violinists, they have to put their mute on, right? Well. For the piano, Steingreber has actually added a mute pedal, the Sordino pedal, which is the middle pedal over here. So when I press this pedal, a piece of felt goes over the hammers, in between the hammers and the strings, creating a unique muffled sound. Now that's not all. They also have what's called a Mozart rail. I pull the switch at the bottom, and it actually lowers the keys and it makes the action less, there's less distance to travel, making it, again, another way to play softly. So you have some very creative ways for more delicate playing. You know, in an age where a lot of acoustic brands are trying to come up with more and more power, more and more volume, this is a very unique approach. Now there's one more really cool thing about this piano that I want to show you. It actually has to do with the lid. The lid is made of uh, an interesting material. It's actually got in the middle uh, an aluminum honeycomb. So what does that mean? It is much lighter than your traditional concert grand lid. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm a small guy, and even I have to struggle whenever I, I have to get a, a nine-foot lid up with one arm. This makes it so easy to lift up and set up. So another unique thing, and one of the interesting properties about this lid, from what I've been told, is that it actually does a better job of reflecting audio waves or sound. So again, it's kind of hard to tell in this space. It's a lot of carpeting and it's not really a concert setting, but uh, there is a lot of sound that you can get out of this. Now let's just listen to a little bit of um, some Schubert. I, I think Schubert is where uh, this kind of soft pedal playing, the Sordino playing, really shines. You know, Schubert himself loved uh, his Playel and his Playel, I actually had a chance to play it once has a sustain pedal, but then four different levels of soft. Incredible. You press each of these pedals, it would get softer and softer and softer, and apparently this is the sound that Schubert loved. This is a piano that actually comes very close to approximating the kind of muted, muffled sound that you can get. Now, one other really quick thing for the Mozart rail, before we go and hear a little bit of this piano, uh, what would you need a Mozart rail for? Well, one of the things I thought of immediately was the fact that, you know, with a concert grand, it's very easy as a collaborative pianist or an accompanist to overwhelm the soloist. <laughs> and I've seen so many accompanists that just, you know, you wish they would back down a little bit and let the soloist be heard. Switch on the Mozart rail, you've got an instant <laughs> balancer, <laughs> making your accompanist play a lot softer and it letting your soloist shine out a lot more. That's one application that I can see being very, very practical for the Mozart rail over here. So anyway, let's listen to a little bit of this.
I hope you enjoyed that overview of the E272 Concert Grand by Scheingraber und Zerne. Magnificent instrument with some really unique, really unique features that uh, I'm really enjoying. It's a lot of fun. Anyway, I'm Hugh Sung for pianobuyer.com. Thank you for watching.